said I was fine. You didn't need to check on me. I'm not checking on you. You've been weird ever since I told you. I don't mean to be. Carl, I know when you're sad. Or when you're disappointed. I don't know what I would do if you were disappointed in me. I would never be disappointed in you, but you said you didn't want to talk about it anymore. Well, I do if, if you're not okay with it. I am so okay with it. <sighs> Sit down. Alex. Come and talk with me. I think I owe you an apology. For what? For not creating an environment where you felt like you could talk about this with me. All those years we spent together growing up, the endless nights talking and sharing, now I realize that they were all about me and my secret. There's never been room for you, and that's my fault. And I'm so sorry. You didn't do anything And wrong. I know, I know that this is not the same at all, but I do know how it feels to keep a part of yourself shut off, to keep it inside. And I know how lonely that can make you feel. But Alex, you are not alone. <laughs> I can't do this without you. You don't have to. So what about Maggie? What's she like? I, uh, I always like her so much. You know, she's so, she's smart and she's, she's tough and she's just, reporting an alien attacking civilians in an alleyway downtown. I'll go get the alien. You get the girl. <laughs> 